you know this Tuesday is Miniature Golf Day? It's very exciting and this is a great opportunity for us to have some fun with science with our floating golf ball density experiment. And so as we think about density and this great experiment we're going to do, I thought it would be great for us to take a minute to talk about what is density. So I have our little formula here, but more importantly, I want you to think about how everything around us is made up of particles, um, tiny particles that you can't see. They're called molecules. And when they are very, very close together, the item or the particle or the object is going to be a little bit more dense or more solid. So when we think about density, we're really thinking about how solid something is. So with that, let's jump into our fun experiment today. We are going to need a golf ball. I have a standard golf ball here, but hopefully you know somebody who already golfs that you can borrow one from. We're gonna have a couple cups of water. These are basic tap water at the moment. Um, some salt, you can do basic um, table salt. Although if you want it a little more clear, if you happen to have water softener salts, that works as well. And then we also have our food coloring so that we can see that as well as a measuring, a teaspoon and a regular spoon to stir. So first things we're going to do, as always, is we want to put on our scientist hats and we're going to make a hypothesis. I want you to think about it at home. What happens when we place this golf ball into this glass of water? It's just common tap water. Is it going to sink or is it going to float? You thought about it? We make our predictions. Let's see, let's test it. It sunk. It sunk on the bottom there. So we'll use our spoon to dish it out. Now, have you thought about why do you think it sunk? Why do you think it sunk on there? Think it has something to do with density? Let's do some tests. Let's find out. Now, what we're gonna do with our um, next glass, actually, before we do that, this is a tap water one we just did. I want to distinguish this one as tap water, so we're gonna put some food color in. This is just the one we tested in right now. It was the basic tap water. Now, we're gonna set this one aside for now. Now we want to try to make this golf ball float. And we have to make this golf ball to be less dense than the water that it's in. In this tap water, the, the golf ball was more dense. And that's why it sunk. So let's see if we can change the water with science. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some, we're gonna put some salt in there. And I want you to remember that it's okay if you don't get it right the first time. As with anything with science, we need to practice and try and test our hypothesis and see what works and what doesn't. So you can test it after, Let's see if it sinks. Oh, after one tablespoon, it looks like it's still sinking at the bottom. So the golf ball is still more dense than the water. So let's see if we can make it more dense. We're gonna add, this time I'm gonna add a couple. Again, we're going to stir it. It's really important that you try to dissolve the salt in there. Because remember, we're trying to pack the particles. We're trying to make it more dense. We're trying to get the salt and the water to mix together. So you have to have some patience. Make sure you're really mixing it together in there. Check it how closely these particles are packed together. Let's see if we can get it to float. Oh, you'll notice that it popped right back up there. Now the salt water is more dense than the golf ball, which is why it floated to the top. You can see here, if you have a colored golf ball, that'll work really well because then you can see it in the water. But you can see the white golf ball floating right up top here. Now we're going to try something really cool. So, Remember this basic tap water we had? Very basic. I turned it 
remember with the food dye, we turned it a little bit blue so we can see the difference. We're gonna test and see what happens when we put these together. We're not gonna mix them, and we're gonna do so very slowly. So you're going to slowly pour the less dense tap water on top of the very dense salt water. Let's see what happens. You'll notice that the golf ball is not floating, and it's not sinking. It's kind of staying right in between the two, isn't it? It is staying between the layers because keep in mind, the salt water on the bottom here is the most dense. And we have the golf ball, and finally we have the tap water that is not very dense. So you can see what happens is the golf ball is sitting and floating right in the middle there, slowly. And you can, again, go back to create some more predictions, hypothesize whether or not you think um, what will happen if you stir it together or try it with different objects. If you tried it with a penny, would that work? Keep in mind, metal is very dense, very solid, as opposed to maybe a fork that would just float up. So think about all the different ways you can do it, test them out, have some fun, and it, maybe you can go out this Tuesday to enjoy some miniature golf. Have a great day.